Here we go. Welcome, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon. We are in Legend League, and just like I promised you yesterday, we are going to copy a professional's army, or several professional's armies, and use them on our own with almost no practice, no tutorial, no guide, no tips from anybody. Just going to try and see what happens. This is going to be the very first Legend League Queen Charge Dragon Rider attempt so we will see how this goes obviously like i told you guys this is kind of an experiment i realize it's a strange couple of videos that i've done kind of outside the usual videos but i thought it would be fun just to do something different and to see how this works out for the first attack we find a relatively crowded ring base which does make life a little bit difficult for me because i'm not sure what to do i really i don't know okay because it's not like any of the anti three star war bases that we saw in yesterday's tribe episode. So we just, that's right, we YOLO it. We do our best to roll in here and queen charge and keep the queen alive. That is the primary goal. Just get her rolling and try to get into the base a little bit. That helps out that we've got balloons because they're really not the hardest thing to deal with as far as a defensive clan castle. But you also have a single target interno, so we're gonna go ahead and freeze that. Then the queen should be able to take out the balloons, but I've got lots of freezes. You'll notice that this army brings four free spells, which I definitely need. Here we go with the second one. Going to make sure that the queen hopefully... Okay, please go to the Inferno. Inferno. And I can't even say it right. Okay. No. No, not over there. Okay, fine. That's... that's Barbarian King. Okay. So here comes a Headhunter and another free spell. She does get through it now. Thankfully, she's going to get through that Inferno Tower. So there you can see. I mean, that's basically a pretty good funnel. So now we just have to kind of guess... Well, where do we go with the rest of everybody? Barbarian King? No, no, he's supposed to go that... Okay, that was kind of a mistake right there. He was supposed to go off to the left and down the alley like we saw in yesterday's videos. It's not happening. So, full YOLO mode. We drop in the balloons and everything else. Even some troops that don't even belong with this group. And send them in. Yes, I've got the blimp. And the blimp is headed for the town hall. Let's go. Miracles happen. Get in there. Drop the rage. The last freeze. And sure enough, the sneaky goblins and the yetis are going to get the town hall down. And it becomes uh, not exactly the same raid I was thinking. But this is beautiful. This is perfect. Notice the balloons and the dragon riders and everybody else, almost, avoiding the poison bomb in the core. Archer Queen, with an invisibility spell, lasts a little bit longer on the right-hand side. And uh, I gotta tell you, I'm definitely getting super lucky right here. This is crazy. I did not expect it to go this well. But I am very thankful, and it is one of the things in today's video that I'm very thankful for. Another one? You guessed it. It's those of you that use code GALADON. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. You are continuing to keep this channel going. If you love the Clash of Clans videos, please try to remember to use code GALADON in settings, more settings. Scroll to the bottom before you make a purchase in the game. It helps out the channel a great deal. And yes, I flippin' love you guys that use code GALADON. Okay, so... This raid uh, is one of those that goes into the category of even a blind squirrel occasionally gets a nut. I feel like we were better lucky than good here. I definitely feel like some things went my way. Obviously, yes, I'm not hitting fully maxed out bases, although you can see this did have a lot of higher level walls, right? Walls are important. Definitely could have slowed down my raid dramatically. No, but seriously, okay, so the very first Legend League attempt with Queen Charge Dragon Rider ends up being a three star now i will make a room in my discord where you can copy the armies so this army right here this exact army lineup is going to be available in my discord as a link and you guys can check it out at discord.gg slash galadon gaming all right so armed with complete overconfidence of the earlier success we try again and here we go now, you may notice that I'm bringing six Dragon Riders. That is due to a lack of confidence. Those tribe guys, they were only bringing five. They had the ultimate confidence in their queen charges that the queen would stay alive and essentially did all the way to the end of every raid, right? Now, I cannot expect that, nor do I ever expect my queen to survive. 
So we brought an extra Dragon Rider. We squeezed out some of the other cleanup troops. You'll notice the tribe guys bring this very, very specialized army with specific units for late in the battle to drop on specific buildings. Now, in a Gala YOLO, I just watched a couple and tried this myself raid. We don't do that. We go full Gala YOLO and hope things work out. We wait and see which direction the Archer Queen chooses to go, and then we build the rest of our funnel around her. So she's gone down and to the left. That's fine. Okay. You can see the town hall. And we kind of also need to keep an eye out on the sweepers. So here comes the Barbarian King on the outside layers once again. The thought is Dragon Riders roll in essentially from where the King came in. And then the Blimp is going to come in from the top left right there. And roll all the way to the town hall as everybody else gets spammed. And hopefully kind of sort of takes a route around the town hall, right? Blimp rolling in. Will it make it? Not quite, but at least it made it into the enclosure. Multiple freezes, rages. There it goes. Okay, so sneaky goblins. That worked out. Had there been a resource building, we would have failed. Had we come from the opposite side where the clan castle was, we would have failed because the sneaky goblins would have targeted the clan castle instead. This works out pretty well. Archer Queen still alive. Warden ability on the right-hand side was used to try to avoid those units taking damage from the poison bomb. I think for the most part it worked. On the right, you can see the king is still alive. A few of the dragon riders are left and of course the heroes. On the left hand side, miracles do happen. The archer queen is still charging or actually this is more of a queen walk because she never went into the village. She has gone around the perimeter this entire time. Now, keep a close eye on say, yeah, uh, you might see it. The scatter shot, the inferno tower and the expo in the core of the base. We are getting pretty low on time and units. The unicorn, however, is, yes, keeping my king alive. And that could be the difference between a win and a loss right here, or at least between a two and a three star. As we come down to the final five buildings with 36 seconds left, four buildings, 30 seconds, plenty of time. Get through the wall, heroes. Unfortunately, as you can see, that is a big wall. And those are some big buildings. No easy gimme structures over here. And... Yes, um, yet another wall because my heroes have low IQ. Now imagine, imagine the Archer Queen rolls around the side here. No, okay. Um, right, okay. Um, well, I have no, I have no words for the conclusion of this attack. You guys already know what's about to happen, right? Of course, it's a 99 because it's Galadon after all. 99%. Now, while disappointing, we still have to consider this a big win for the average Clasher, right? Picking up 32 trophies in Legend League against a really strong Legend base, well, okay, it's arguably strong, uh, is a good thing. And I'm going to be happy with this every single time, even though it would have been nice to get the extra eight trophies. Okay, here we go. Final attempt of the day. And this base, a little more along the lines of what I would expect to see, this anti-three-star, right? So we've got the town hall out on the corner, which is making the Archer Queen's job really easy. She's going to roll in, take it down, hopefully get the Inferno and a few other defenses. But the question I'm already considering in the back of my mind is, how do I use the blimp? What the heck am I going to do with this blimp now? Now, one idea could be to bring, say, a siege barracks instead. And if this happens, then you use the siege barracks to complete the funnel with the Barbarian King. And yes, I think that probably would have been wise. But remember, we're average clashers. We don't consider all of these things necessarily. And uh, yeah, okay. So the Baby Dragon, I'm hoping this makes the Archer Queen go in towards the Clan Castle. Got to try to get that out of the way. So this does work out. She heads on in. We're going to get the CC out of the way. We got the Inferno Tower as well. And now you can kind of see the funnel has to finish over here on the right-hand side. At least that's what I'm thinking. So the Barbarian King, we want... No, okay, I screwed that up again. I'm trying... Okay, the Barb King is supposed to go right up the side, up the lab, and instead he kind of goes into the middle. That's fine, whatever. And there you can see the final stage of spam everybody else. Now the question is, where does the stinking blimp go? I have no idea why I chose that spot, but at least it's not going to go over to the town hall and poop itself in the corner. We are going to get the blimp to do something, and in this case, it's going to land essentially on top of the defending archer queen. Or, no, okay, it did poop itself in the corner anyway. Great, go Galadon! Okay, it's, it's because there's too many moving parts, you guys. There's just too many moving parts for me to keep track of, and I'm just hoping the queen stays alive. Check this out. The healers swap from the archer queen to the yetis, 
that came out of the blimp. I don't think that's good. In fact, I know it's not good, but on the right-hand side, we've got a bunch of units. Barbarian King, Royal Champion, King's got the Unicorn. The Dragon Riders are just about toast in the core, and that's when I kind of think, okay, there's no chance, right? I mean, there's a lot of core defenses left, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. The one final Dragon Rider and the Royal Champion wipe out the last Expo, and yes, that's right. It looks good, despite the fact that we lost the Queen. We've got the King, we've got the Grand Warden, we've got the Royal Champion, and of course we have the uh, uh, Yeti Walk, Yeti Charge, Invincible Yetis, I don't know, they're over there and they're not going to die today. So, beautiful attack, somehow, again, I feel like I got lucky, we are going to have to continue to try this again and again. We did get several 3 stars in Legend League using Queen Charge Dragon Rider, but we will continue to experiment, and if you want to see them live in future days, make sure you stop by a Facebook live stream where I will be trying more Queen Charge Dragon Rider amongst other new attacks. Thank you so much, Galifam, for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know I do, truly. Love thing about it. I appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I will see you back here again tomorrow for more Full of Text. Galidon, Galidon, I suggest you check your transmission fluid.